brings new challenges, but AARP only sees possibilities. We're tackling the concerns of our communities and supporting the kind of change that can benefit all of us. Take on today with AARP. Learn how at aarp.org slash sd. The Sioux Empire Fair gets underway today. This morning, we'll tell you what organizers are doing to keep fairgoers safe during its week-long run. Plus, hop aboard a relic from our aviation past, how time flies backwards during a special gathering in Sioux Falls. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your weekend. We also have your boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. Former State Attorney General Mark Meyer Henry is being remembered as a legal warrior who stood up for the rights of everyday South Dakotans. Meyer Henry died Wednesday at his Sioux Falls home, surrounded by family, at the age of 75. He served as Attorney General from 1979 to 1987. His family says Meyer Henry held a deep reverence for the legal profession. My dad was very generous uh, in mentoring lawyers across the state and those that worked for him. Uh, he was a student of the law. He loved the law, and if you ask him who he was, he was a lawyer. Todd Meyer Henry says his dad was also a tireless advocate for those who couldn't afford high-powered attorneys. Flags at the South Dakota State Capitol will be flown at half-staff in honor of Meyer Henry on August 5th. Well, when was the last time you called someone to tell them they were doing a good job? Friend of Kelloland News, Mary Ann Hallberg, did it every day. We're sad to report that Mary Ann died last week. You may remember her. She was on Kelloland News a few times. We shared her story about calling local journalists, trash collectors, and pretty much anybody just to give them some encouragement. She also shared her thoughts about choosing a life full of happiness. Mary Ann's favorite currency was kindness, and she shared the wealth. It's just a positive approach to things, I guess. And I think the world is in such turmoil now that we need all this positiveness we can get. Mary Ann was 91. You can see our stories about her under this one at Kelloland.com. The Sioux Falls Municipal Band may be tuning up for a funding encore next year. City Council Member Kirk Sale is seeking $136,000 for the band in the 2021 city budget. The current budget proposal for next year does not include any money for the band. The band master says the restored funding would keep the music playing at venues around the city. That means we can continue. That's approximately what our budget is right now. Um, we do uh, 25, approximately 25 concerts each year, and uh, this will allow us to continue to do that. Check out this report at Kelloland.com for a statement about the ban from Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken. Well, you have a chance to take a ride on a World War II era plane in Sioux Falls this weekend. Kelloland News had the opportunity on Friday to climb aboard a B-17 bomber for the flight. And this historical plane lasts about 20 to 25 minutes. Obviously, it's a kind of a bit of an antique. Uh, it flies very well. They built a very nice airplane back uh, when they designed the, the B-17. The aircraft is assigned to the commemorative Air Force's Air Base Arizona, which takes the plane from city to city. Rides and tours of the B-17 are available this weekend in Sioux Falls. We'll tell you where and when coming up in Boredom Busters. But first, let's get a check on our weather with meteorologist Adam Ritt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. Welcome to the month of August, and we're getting off to a pretty nice start, all things considered. We'll kick things off with a view in Miller this time around, 65 with a north wind at 11 miles per hour. A nice breeze out of the north will continue to develop over the afternoon and evening and usher in a rather cool air mass overnight. Meanwhile, in Falls Park, 68, and that wind is finally starting to turn. It's been out of the south for a better part of the morning, but now it's out of the west at 3 miles per hour with a slow-moving cold front finally pushing further down to the south and east. Still could see an isolated shower or two in the southeasternmost parts of Kelloland, in the parts of western Minnesota and northwestern Iowa. But beyond that, we're off to a pretty benign start. 67 in Huron, 68 as you head toward Mitchell, 66 in Sisseton, as well as Ortonville, Aberdeen, 68. 60, though, Rapid City and Faith with that breeze still pushing down from the north around 5 to 10 miles per hour. That wind will pick up a little bit more as we head through the afternoon and evening. And all it's going to do is bring in some dry air. It's been 
pretty humid. As of late, you may remember the month of July was very humid for eastern parts of Kilauea, but August is going to get off to a bit of a better start. You see a whole lot of nothing to the north. That's high pressure. That's what I'm talking about. It's going to head down to the south and east as we head through the rest of the night. And we have really a whole lot of nothing going on, at least in terms of weather. We'll talk about the rest of your seven-day forecast coming up. All right, thank you very much, Adam. Well, the 81st annual Sioux Empire Fair kicks off today. Rides, vendors, and game booths are once again at the WH Lion Fairgrounds, along with hygiene stations. Hand sanitizers have been placed around the fairgrounds, and there are double the amount of hand washing stations. We have added hand sanitizer stations at all of our gates, so all of our entrances, and then throughout the fairgrounds, and they're painted on blue um, cattle tie-outs, so they're very visible, and they're automatic dispensers. Masks are encouraged for anyone who'd like to wear one, but they are not required to attend the fair. Today's fair's hours are from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Admission is $10 for adults, $5 for children, free for ages 5 and under. Carnival rides and games in the Midway start at noon. Check out rare historical military planes on display at Sioux Falls Regional Airport as part of the Flying Legends of Victory Tour. Today's hours are from 2 to 6. Admission is $10 a person or $20 for a family of four. You can also book a flight aboard a plane for an additional cost. A plane pole competition at the Maverick Air Center will raise money for the Special Olympics South Dakota. Teams will pull a historic fighter plane starting at noon. Awards will be given out to the fastest pole in each of three divisions. Shayna Steele is the featured performer for Levitt in Your Living Room. The free virtual concert begins at 7 p.m. on Facebook Live. It's Princess and Pirates Night at the Canaries baseball game against the Chicago Dogs. First pitch is at 6.05 at Sioux Falls Stadium. Tonight's free moonlight movie in downtown Sioux Falls is Secret Life of Pets 2. The movie begins at dusk in Faywick Park. Popcorn, candy, soda and water are available for purchase. Find out about other events taking place today and the rest of this weekend by visiting our events calendar at kelloland.com. Adam. We'll have a little bit of discomfort, at least, for the morning and afternoon as dew points hold in the mid-60s through the afternoon. But still, it's not too bad. We've experienced far worse. We've had dew points in the 70s on several occasions. But that dew point is going to continue to drop as this cold front drops down to the south and east over the afternoon and evening. That will help bring in a more comfortable air mass currently situated well to our north. It's also going to bring in a more stable air mass, so we're not really going to be talking about any much in the way of active weather. The only activity is going to be well, the breeze, and that's going to be really all that she wrote for the next couple of days. So just keep that in mind as we go through the first couple of days for the month of August. We will have a bit of an early fall preview on the way. Futurecast is going to stay nice and quiet beyond some cloud cover that's going to pop up now and again, especially along the I-29 corridor going into Sunday morning in the early part of the afternoon. But that is going to be just about it. North, south, east, and west, not much of anything going on through the rest of the weekend. Just seasonably cool conditions by day and by night and low levels of humidity as well. So if you have any outdoor projects, you are good to go. In fact, the temperature trend going through the weekend and the majority of next week is going to be near, if not below average. You notice that north by northwesterly flow aloft is going to continue to keep in those cooler than average temperatures through really the entirety of Kelloland. And it doesn't really ease off until we get into the end of next week when we're back in the low to mid 80s. So if you're a fan of early fall weather, you're going to like the first half more or less of the extended forecast, including today, with highs generally in the low 80s. Lows tonight, in the 50s and it's not the last time we talk about lows in the 50s either or highs in the 70s for that matter again get out and enjoy this if you have the chance to do so now that being said we do still need rain we have moderate to severe drought conditions popping up in three of the four corners of Kelloland, and we do have some much needed rain on the way by wednesday going into thursday well thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the go you can get up to the minute developments right here on kelloland.com have a great day